What is going on my people? How's everybody doing and how's everybody feeling in today my people? Welcome back to another video. I have another new play build for you all today my people. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the one and only legendary Steve Nash. All right. So as you can see, he is a two-way threat. Of course, Steve Nash is one of the greatest point guards to ever do it. So we're going to get right into it. Let's go check out the attributes. So as you can see, 95 overall once again, 97 layup, go down, scroll down, 91 close shot, mid-range and three-point shot is a 92, my people, unbelievable, right? Then, when you look at the post control, you don't need to worry about that. Pass accuracy, of course, is 98, he definitely is going to be able to get Hall of Fame Dimer, which is cheese, my people, of course. Then, as you can see, the defense is decent, nothing too crazy with the defense, but the passing, the playmaking, and the uh, shooting is the strengths for this build, my people. So we're gonna make the one and only Steve Nash right now, all right? So let's go to the mob player builder real quick and make the one and only Steve Nash. All right, my people, so as you can see, we're at the mob player builder, and we have the first and last, last name, of course, Steve Nash, point guard, right-handed, jersey number is 13, all right? So Steve Nash was, 195 so we're gonna leave it 195 and as for steve nash wingspan what i'm gonna do his shooting is already there i might honestly just leave the wingspan to be honest because this is what steve nash had it didn't make any sense really to change it shooting was definitely 92 for the three-point shot so maybe if you want to just drop this down to 6-6 six, six. so that's what i would do just leave the body type you don't really gotta worry about that all right so first things first let's do 97 i don't even think we need, even need to go to 97 so we could get away with just a 90 i think a 90 would be good my people you don't need a 97 on the driving layup i promise you you don't all right so now the rest of this stuff so we're just gonna leave this at a 90 driving layup the shooting we have a 92 mid-range shot for the steve nash build right here 92 and then you want to go 92 on the three-point shot all right so this is also what we're dealing with and then for the free throw all you need is an 80 you're always green pass accuracy is going up to a 92 my people okay oh sorry actually it's going to a 98 all right so look at this right all the beautiful hall of flame badges my bad let's go back to that all the beautiful hall of fame badges right here that you're going to be able to get with this build Incredible. So, of course, you're going to have great shooting. Of course, you're going to be able to have that bullet passer on Hall of Fame, which is incredible. The bailout Hall of Fame, like all of the stuff that you would want to use for a playmaking type of build. This is what you're going to rock with. This is what's going to help you do the things that Steve Nash did on the court. All right. So now for the ball handler, the ball handler was 91. So we're going to go up to that. 91 speed with the ball was a 84 can we get 84 i believe we'll be able to get 84 so we're gonna go 84 all right so so far this build is looking lethal um let's see sort of i want to skip the perimeter right now so we're gonna go 84 on the defense gotta go 84 here of course we're not gonna mess with the strength he had a 66 vert so we're gonna, gonna give him that 66 vert all right and then we're going to go with the stamina of let's just go i think we can get away with a 90 stamina let's just do 95 then we'll go back to the perimeter right let's make this 80 let's put this up so 80 80 is pretty good and he had an 84 so we're gonna go 84 okay so this is how we're looking right now my people so far this build is looking incredible and then we'll go 83 on a free throw so look at this my people all right most players don't even have you know hall of fame bullet passer on their point guard they usually have like uh 85 just to get the gold but this build is looking crazy i would definitely use this build my people um so look at this right 13 uh finishing batch points 34 shooting batch points 33 and 16 and keep in mind with the rebirth you can put plus four so you you could even do plus four on the defensive you know what i mean because i know 
but remember that in the steel that's all you need my people the 84 and the 80 is perfect that's honestly all you need look gold interceptor incredible pickpocket you know clamps on silver so this is the perfect steve nash build right here my people it's speed 84 acceleration 84 but like i said um steve nash is definitely more of a playmaker he can shoot from anywhere so this is what is going to be amazing when using a build like this all right so let's continue right here so first things first i would definitely say i would go with limitless range and i would definitely go with like one of these uh playmaking takes or you could definitely go with like a um a lock take as well but i i think i would do maybe like a a, a team takeover i think this right here would be incredible my people all right so let's continue So of course, as you can see, we have a playmaking shot creator, my people, and Steve Nash is at the very top. Incredible. So this is the exact uh, Steve Nash build, my people. You know what I mean? This build, to me, this build looks amazing. I would have so much fun hooping with this build because this is my type of build. To be able to playmate, to be able to ball handle, and also to be able to shoot jumpers from anywhere that I would like. All right? So... Yeah, let me know what I thought, of, thought about this build and if you enjoyed it, just please drop a like, show some love, comment down below of any builds that you want to make and until next time, much love.